Hello everyone. As some of you may know, I've been working on testing reload speeds, all the different reload perks, and all of the different weapon tr types, trying to get formulas for them to be able to calculate their reload speed. And I'm almost done with that. I've just got a couple of things to uh, retest to make sure I've got the correct, num correct numbers on them. And as I've been doing that, I've been creating this program that will calculate reload speed for me. And my goal is to be able to publish this at some point as soon as I finish it and add all the finishing touches. So I'm just going to give a quick demo of what this thing is capable of. So first you can select your weapon type. We've got all of the weapon types in the game besides bows and swords. Um, bows were very difficult to try and get the reload speed on them. I wasn't able to find a consistent way to do it on console, so I am not able to include them in here. But we've got everything else in here, all the primary specials and heavies. Um, so let's just do machine gun as an example. You select the reload stat next. This goes from 10 to 100. You can either use the buttons or you can just enter in the stat you want. It will take the gauntlet perk. We've got you know regular, enhanced, two times regular, two times enhanced, or regular and enhanced. So we're just gonna have none for now. You, it'll take exotic armor pieces. These are the only exotic armor pieces I know of that enhance reload speed directly. We got Dragon Shadow, Mechanist Trick Sleeves, and Ophidian Aspects. You can select your ability. This includes all the Chains of Woe, Defensive Strike, Heart of the Packs, Lightning Weave, Lunifaction Rifts, Pulse Wave, and Rally Barricade. And these, is, you can select more than one ability. You can select as many as you want. And then we've got Weapon Perks, and this includes Alloy Mags, Larity, Drop Mag, Elemental Capacitor, All of the Feeding Frenzies, Field Prep, Outlaw, Rapid Fire Frame, All of the Rapid Hits, Threat Detector, and Underdog. And again, just like abilities, you can select as many as you want. And then after you've selected all that you want, you just hit Calculate Reload Speed, and it'll give you the time for ammo in frames, which is 98, and in seconds, which is 3.267. And it'll give you the time to fire in frames and seconds. So, uh, this is fairly accurate. Um, typically, if it's off at all, it's only off by one frame and sometimes two frames. So this is probably 148. It could be 147 or 149. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty comfortable with the you know one frame off. You know, that's about as good as I could get it. So, but you can see that if I change this to have a regular loader perk on it, it will adjust the reload speed accordingly. You can stack, you know, different uh, abilities with different weapon perks, and it'll calculate all of it together. So I've got the numbers for all of these already in here. So this is fully operational. Uh, one thing to note. If you have, say, Chains of Woe times 1 and times 3 on at the same time, it will only take the highest Chains of Woe. So when you have 1 and 3, it will only take 3 because you can't have Chains of Woe 1 and 3 active at the same time in-game. And that's the same for Heart of the Pack, Feeding Frenzy, Rapid Hit, and Threat Detector. And yeah, um... As I said, my goal is to be able to publish this so that other people can use it at some point. I just gotta finish it up and uh, get it ready for publishing. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, you can um, message me on Twitter. My Twitter is VanHolden304. And uh, yeah, be sure to check me out on Twitch as well. It's twitch.tv forward slash Van underscore Holden. Thanks for watching.